Hey guys, it's Lisa Lynn here with another video today. So if you're looking on the screen right now, you can see all of our previous new soul banners all in one place. I'm going to be looking at all the previous and current new soul banners and um, I'm going to be rating them based on how they do in PvE, PvP, and Guild Raid. Um, obviously this is just my opinion. We all have our different opinions and, um, you might disagree with me. You might get unhappy because of what I say about your waifu, but, um, let's be real. We all have our different opinions. That's totally okay if you disagree with what I say. Just don't take it hard, okay? So, um, without further ado, let's get right into it. Our first soul that we have here that ever soul gave to us is Jiho. And Jiho is a beautiful human like soul. She's a useful support that can be used in many different types of content of the game. She provides single target healing alongside speed manipulation all over her kit. Her artifact also gives a crit rate increase buff to her allies. Um, for PvP, I would say she is rated a Four out of five. I personally don't use her in PvP because I have a team that is well constructed and I have other supports that I would rather use than Jiho. For bosses, I would say she's a four out of five as well. Um, considering Ruthra boss, she helped cleanse. I paired her up alongside Erica, so that was a good duel over there. And for PvP, I mean PvE, excuse me, I would also say four. Four out of five. Um, again, with the same thing with the PvP situation, I don't use her as much because I have other supports. But I feel like if you have a really good built-up chi hold, then she would be excellent. The next soul that we're going to be talking about is Velana, our undead queen. Um, so Velana does AOE damage. And she has potential to carry your team if she's built up correctly. Um, so basically, she can stun the target if the target is bleeding, which it's a likely um, chance that they will be stunned because Valana's skill provides that bleeding debuff. So in PvP, I would give her a 3 out of 5. I personally don't build up undead team, but I'm sure that if... Um, there are undead team lovers out there who built up really strong undead souls, then obviously this rating would be different. For bosses, I gave her a 3 out of 5 as well. Um, I just don't really use her that much in any of my guild raid bosses, but I know there are some people who actually use Velana in the Ruthra um, guild raid last season because um, in order to get all your ults off, you need a stunner. Velana can do that stunning. So, um, but for me, I would give her a 3 out of 5. And for PvP, I mean PvE, why do I keep doing this? I rate her a 4 out of 5. I think she's really, really, really good early to mid game, but personally for me, um, um, I don't really know many people who use her late game. Pryden says that Valana is good late game, but I don't know, that's just my opinion. Um, going on to our next soul, we have... One of the most beloved and popular souls of Eversoul, Holan, our beast girl. So she is what people consider a speed manipulation queen. Not only does she do an AoE freeze damage, but she also has a unique passive that decreases the enemy's speed and evasion. And in this game, speed is crucial. Um, so for PvP, I would rate Holon a 5 out of 5 because like I said, speed is really crucial in that game and literally on the battlefield. Once you get into a match with Holon, she decreases enemy speed and evasion and her skills also um, do all of that and it decreases speed as well. So if you're in a PvP battle with Holon, I feel like it would be pretty difficult to win if you're going against a really good one. For boss, I would rate her a 4 out of 5. I know that she was useful in, I think, I think was it Chariot or Gaia's? I don't know. I don't know which one it was, but I know that she was useful in one of those to decrease the boss's mana. So I could rate her a 4 out of 5 in that area. 
And then for a PVE, I finally did it say PVP, guys. But for PVE, I would give her a 5 out of 5. Personally, I have not gone and summoned on Holy Lance Banner. But I know many people who have, including Stormy. And Stormy, he gave me his input on this. And he said how she is amazing in PVE. And how he's still using her to this day. And honestly, it kind of makes me regret not going for her. Our next soul that we have after Hong Man is Erica, our cute little dainty fairy soul. Um, Erica, she provides a small, um, not small, but she provides a healing buff for a small area on the battlefield for your team. She also has a cleanse skill, like I mentioned previously when I was talking about Jiho. She has a cleanse skill and she also has a poison skill that can poison the backliner enemy. She also has a unique Eureka buff effect that pretty much involves RNG. So for PvP, I would rate her a 3 out of 5. Um, in, the, in the fairy types, I would say she is not the best support but she's not the worst i still think talia talia is still like better compared to erica but um that's just my opinion and i'm sure that's many other people's opinion for pvp i would say erica is three out of five for bosses i would say four out of five um erica they're she was really helpful with the cleansing in the Ruther boss last season, um, since we only have so many, um, a handful of cleansers. And for PvE, I would give Erica a 4 out of 5 as well. Now, going on to my favorite soul of all time, Aki. Um, in my opinion, Aki is hands down the best hyper carry in the whole whole entire game nobody can compare aki can easily wipe the whole back line with the main ult main combo and the reason why that is is because she has a two times damage multiplier of the skill every time she crits um everyone knows or if you don't know i am a um aki stan i love aki i only love aki and honestly aki is my most favorite soul in the game nobody compares to her in my opinion and um yeah that's just that um if you are friends with me on eversoul you can see that my whole profile is aki 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 um so i'm happy that i actually went for her because i'm sure those who didn't go for her are missing out and I'm sure they were probably hoping for a rerun of Aki's banner. And honestly, I feel like if they did, if Eversol did that, then they would be making bake. But let's get into the ratings. Um, for PvP, Aki, 5 out of 5. For the guild raid bosses, I would say 5 out of 5. Although I know for Ruthra, um, Aki was pretty much fucking useless because Ruthra's passive it decreases the chance of the guild raid boss to get hit by a um, critical hit. And I know Aki's kit is all about that. But still, just um, she's really good in the other two guild raid bosses. So that's why I'm putting it as a 5 out of 5. And for PvE, she is a 5 out of 5 as well. Aki is our first all 5 out of 5 across the board, in my opinion. She's the first soul. Um, ever since I pulled for Aki, she's been the best hybrid carry for me and everything i don't like i literally have aki in every single team comp of mine i cannot do anything without aki she's the best now after aki we have lizalot and let me just tell you lizalot her nickname should be the guild raid goddess she guarantees a critical hit if there are no other enemies within the target and she has insane single damage um She's an insane single damage dealer, and she has a crazy passive where the more buff she has on her equals the more damage she does, and it stacks. Um, so let's get right into the ratings. For Lizala, I would say she is a 5 out of 5 in PvP, and Guild Raid bosses, obviously, hence the nickname. She is a 5 out of 5, and for PvE, I would also say she is a 5 out of 5. I know that some people, if you're not a whale, you either had to sacrifice going for Aki or going for the demon girl. And that is what I had to do. And I had to choose Aki. 
but if I was a whale, I would have just sent it for both, to be honest, because they're both so amazing in Guild Raid. And then now moving after Lizzalot, we have Garnet, our undead soul. She is a debuff queen, and she replies debuffs like there is no tomorrow. While being on the battlefield, she provides all allies with a 15% lifesteal buff. And she has a special carrot stack mechanic. For PvP, I would consider her being a 3 out of 5, but obviously, unless you are a whale and you have an 05 garnet, a really high level, really good artifacts, keepsakes, whatever, obviously it'll be different for you. I guess that's the same situation for every single one of these souls. Um, for bosses, I would say she's a 5 out of 5. She is a must on the undead boss, on the undead guild ray boss team, because obviously on the undead team, Violet carries she really carries violet carried ruthra last guild raid and honestly garnet just provides a crap ton of debuffs and it just boosts up their violet damage so obviously garnet gets a five out of five in boss and for pve i would also say i would say it's a four out of five now for our fairy soul manon she is she has a really rng dependent kit that really revolves around luck she has potential to be a really good damage dealer if she's built up high and um, has good keepsakes and her artifacts level up. For PvP, I would rate Manon a 3 out of 5. For bosses, I would say 2 out of 5. Sorry if I'm being a little bit too harsh on Manon. I just don't really see her working in many guild raid um, comps because there are so many other better damage dealers. For PvE, I would say she is a 3 out of 5, although I have not used her yet. And lastly, we have our current um, soul, Shaolin. And um, I know some of you guys are going to get mad at me for saying this, but like I said, it's just an opinion. Um, Shaolin, please start, stick to delivering and serving dumplings. Um, I see a lot of people say how she is, um, overshadowed by her pure striker slash beast Haru, but maybe she'll have some pretty nice uses in the future, but for now, I don't really think she's the best soul there is. I know there's been a lot of talk, um, about if she's going to be good in guild raid or whatnot, but I don't really see myself using her in anything other than beast gates. Um, for PvP, I would give her a rating of 3 out of 5. For Guild Boss, um, we don't really know for sure yet, considering we haven't really tried her in Guild Boss. It's only speculation. And for PvE, I would say she is also a 3 out of 5. So there you have it, guys. That is me going through the past and current rate up banners for the new souls of Eversoul. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. With the knowledge that I have now and all the time I've spent playing Eversoul, honestly, I would personally send um, 300 summons on all um, or get all their mileage rewards on Aki, Honglan, and Lizzala. But of course, those three are definitely meta as of right now. But the more souls that are introduced into the game, um, it will obviously change. But thank you for watching once again. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below if you think, if you disagree with something I said or if you agree with something I said. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.